Kevin McCarthy's committee decisions are a prime example that these types of distractions are going to continue to happen in this Congress. Kevin McCarthy will kick Democrats from powerful committee positions in payback for Pelosi snub. Republican speaker to boot squad member Representative Omar from Foreign Affairs and remove Representative Schiff and Representative Sawell from intelligence. This report is coming from the Daily Mail. Now this is McCarthy's revenge, no doubt about it. It's the GOP's revenge. There's no doubt about that either. And Democrats that cave into these into these kinds of games by even bothering to respond are distracting as well. In some ways, Biden is complicit in this. He preached about bipartisanship, but he has caved to the shake your hand mentality with the GOP knowing full well they had their fingers crossed behind their back. Being bipartisan does not mean that you should cave to foolishness and mayhem. And that has been going on the entire time. And as both parties continue to bicker, guess who suffers? The American people. So Jackson, we are not surprised by this this uh, revenge notice by McCarthy. I mean, they, they made it known that if they gained back control of the House that they were going to host a whole host of investigations and use their political power and the people's political clout to absolutely do nothing to change political to change material conditions, but just to seek political revenge. And I mean, really, that's all they've got. There's not going to be much litigation going on with the with the being a split Congress and Senate. And just in general, um, you know, all these years, all this talking, you know, after the 2020 election and and that being stolen, and the Republicans being treated so unfairly, and then finally being in a position to fight for the people, it's going to be going after mainly well-known Democratic figures. You know, people who are actually in the Democratic Party who may be in appointed positions, or if they're more corporate and conservative in their economic stances, we won't hear very many peeps about them. But you know, Ilhan Omar, you know, she's in support of Palestine, so we're going to be hearing about that. And then, you know, it's those trigger words. Anybody who's uh, fighting for like things like the Green New Deal or a stronger health care system, they're going to be going after them because they have nothing on the substance. So this all is going to be for the next two years. Yeah, and I, I, I really don't understand how voters from any either of the political parties could just tolerate these folks being paid the type of money that they are being paid. And they really don't deliver for the 98% or 99% in this country. They play a whole lot of political games. And they make it known that they're gonna play these games from the beginning. I mean, the Republicans really ran on give us the power back in the House, and we're gonna show those Democrats, we're gonna seek out revenge. We're gonna exact revenge against them for what they put President Donald J. Trump through. That's what we're gonna do. And we're not gonna do anything that enhances the lives of people. Even during a pandemic, we know that the COVID virus continues to mutate. We got infrastructure problems, you know, that we knew we had those problems even before what happened to Southwest and what just happened with the FAA uh, uh, this morning. We knew that all along, but that means nothing to these people. We know that food costs have skyrocketed because of inflation. We know that people can't drink gas, at least not and live. We know these things. But what are these clowns and all of them? What are they doing? Just fighting back and forth. And you know what their main position is on this? It is what is best for their respective parties instead of centering the people in the United States of America. America, I've said it before, and I'm going to continue to say it again and again and again and again. At some point, bolded, underlined, exclamation pointed, message in a bottle. We must stop being complicit in our own demise. This man is outraged over a gas stove. And then you got McCarthy, who barely won the speakership. And he ain't in control because that them Freedom Caucus or Unfreedom Caucus members can, can make him roll at any moment. But let's just say he got the title. And as Speaker of the House, he has decided that he's just going to exact revenge. We are in a pretty sad state, America, and only we 
can turn this thing around. As Jackson said earlier in another segment, elections. We can make sure some of these folks don't make it back. Now, stop playing games. 